Ready? Set? Go. Hello everyone. Today I will be your math teacher and I will be teaching you how to solve for x. I'm going to start off with an easy problem. On this problem, first thing you have to do is combine like terms. So bring this down. That will equal negative 3. After that, you got to move, isolate the x and the regular numbers. So four x equals. Now to isolate the x, you have to divide by four by both sides. And x will equal two. And if you want to make sure you got the correct answer, you can always plug in x. So let's try that out. 4, 2, times 5, 2, 2 times 5. 4 times 2, 8 minus 5 minus 2. 8 minus 5, 8 minus 5 is 3, plus 2 equals 5. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2. So that's how you know you got it right. Let's try a more complex problem. For this one, you have to remember PEMDAS. It's an order. It's the order you do. It's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, adding, subtracting. In this case, you do parentheses first, but there's nothing to do in there, so you move on to exponents. So you 4, x minus 4, plus 4 equals 4. After this, you have to distribute the 4 inside the parentheses. So it would be 4x minus 16 plus 4 equals 4. After this, you combine like terms, which is just these two, so you bring down the x, you don't do anything to the x. Negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12 equals 4. Let's get rid of that. You move. Now you have to isolate the x. So it's going to be 4x minus 12 minus 12 plus 12 plus 12, so it's gonna be 16. After this, next step is divide by four to get the x by itself. So it's divide by four, divide by four, x equals four. That's always, if you're not sure, you could always go back and plug in the x. Let's do that. So we come back over. So it's gonna be two, squared, x is 4, so we plug in x, 4 for x, minus 4, plus 4 equals 4. So you do parentheses first, you got to remember PEMDAS, so 4 minus 4 will equal 0, 2 squared is 4, plus 4 equals 4. So now you distribute the 4 inside the parentheses, so 4 times 0 would equal 0, then plus 4 equals 4. You combine like terms, 4 equals 4. That's how you know you got it right. Now let's do one more fraction problem. For this problem, you have to isolate the x like any other problem. So for this one, you have to multiply 7 to both sides to get rid of the 7 at the bottom. So it's going to be 7 times. And that gets rid of the 7. The x stays by itself. Now 7 times 3, 21. And that's the answer. To check this, 
you could always plug in again like we did in the recent problem. So 21 divided by 7, 21 divided by 7 will be 3. So that's how you.